Song 1. Recognizes, and auto-formats chords as you type. Chords, do not have to be enclosed in square brackets, to be distinguished from the lyrics. Simply type the chords in the same line as the lyrics, with a space, after each chord. Added chords can be selected with a long tap, and repositioned via drag and drop. You may perform the long tap, in an area without text or symbols, and move towards a symbol to select it. To reposition the selected chord, perform a second long tap, and release the tap, once you have moved the cursor to the desired position. Chords and lyrics are auto-spaced when needed. Chords that are located to the left or to the right of the cursor can be repositioned instantly. A selected chord may also be removed by pressing the delete key of your keyboard. On iOS, you may press on the spacebar and reposition the cursor by moving your finger in the desired direction. Approach the chord from the right and release the spacebar at the beginning of the chord to add lyrics immediately after the chord. A cursor toolbar allows you to get an overview of all added chords. Tap on a chord in the toolbar to add a new copy of the chord at the current cursor position. Use the arrow keys of the cursor toolbar to reposition the cursor and auto-select any chord symbols along the way. Separator bars and repeat signs enable you to quickly format the instrumental sections of the song. Tap on the separator bar twice to indicate the beginning and the end of a chord progression. When using Song 1 on smaller devices, you may prefer to use swipe gestures to select and copy chords while keeping your cursor toolbar hidden. You can swipe the main toolbar to the right to be able to undo or redo any changes that you have made while editing a song. A selected chord can easily be changed into a different chord with the help of Song 1's chord matrix. Select the new chord symbol and tap on the guitar pick icon of the main toolbar. Reposition the cursor to add additional copies of the new chord to the song. Chord diagrams are auto-generated for all added chords and are displayed when chords are tapped on or swiped in the song editor. To view all of the chord diagrams of a song, place the cursor on a specific line and select chord chart from the section pop-up menu. Song 1 will automatically update the chord chart when you add a new chord to a song. Song 1's theme panel allows you to toggle between keyboard and fretboard diagrams. Fretboard diagrams can be easily customized by tapping on the diagrams pop-up window and selecting the desired notes on the virtual fretboard. Tap on the switch icon in the left corner of the pop-up window to update the diagram of the song. Perform a long tap to also update the default chord diagrams to be used on all other songs. You can quickly change the format of all of the song's chord diagrams by making a selection from the instrument pop-up menu. Select Custom to freely specify the number of strings and their tuning. All customized chord voicings are automatically recalled 
after reselecting the original instrument. The chord diagrams are automatically updated when transposing the song to a different key. Keyboard diagrams can be customized by engaging the sustain pedal and tapping on the desired keys. Song 1 will display all possible chord candidates for the selected notes. Tap on the appropriate chord symbol and tap on the switch icon to update the chord diagram of the song.